What is up, FBG fam? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another Tower Fantasy video. So I did want to go ahead and do this quick video because I see a lot of confusion surrounding the multi slash for Frig and exactly how much damage it's doing. Now, admittedly, I'm not the best at math, but I believe my math is pretty correct on this. And if it's wrong, let me know in the comments down below. And if it is, I do truly apologize, but I believe I have things nailed down pretty good so and hopefully this video helps clear up any misconceptions or confusion that you might be having when it comes to frig now before we really break it down for you i did want to quickly mention as a disclaimer frig is going to be fine when she releases on the global side on september 1st frig is strong like i mentioned i've been extensively using frig on the closed test client testing her in many different scenarios with many different builds and i find frig to not only be incredibly fun, and I mentioned this in the past, but strong as well as a DPS, especially coming with the Frost Resonance. Is there some rebalancing that happened? Yes, there is, but Frig is still strong and fun, so just keep that in mind. Um, but let's go ahead and jump into the map at this time. So what I tried to do for this testing to make sure that everything lined up and my math was correct is to have everything pretty much baseline. And what I mean by that is not to have the Resonance on, not have any uh, matrices that could manipulate uh, the damages. I wanted it to be pretty baseline level so we have a good foundational start of what we're working with without any real outside influences. Um, so that way we can get a better understanding of what Frigg's doing in terms of the multi slash for the damages. So if we take a look here, and this is where the confusion is, is the percentage where it says unleashes multiple slashes at a set distance in front of the user dealing a total damage equal to 143.9%. Now I just simply round up to 144 of attack plus 317. So the way I did the math here, and you can see my attack on this frig is 271. So the way I did the math is once again, I rounded up to 144. And what I do is I divide that by 100 and that gives us 1.44. And then I simply multiply that by my attack of 271. That's going to give me 390.24. Okay. Now, that's 390 and I'm just gonna go with 390 here. Once again, just rounding down of attack and then plus 317. So then I'm gonna go ahead and add 317 here and that's going to be 707. Now for my testing with Frig, every time I do a multi slash on one enemy, it does three slashes. And this Frig is at zero advancement. So no stars, no copies, baseline Frig. Um, and so each time I do a slash is three slashes. Each slash you're going to add the 317 to each slash. So 390 plus 317 for three slashes, you're gonna be roughly around 707. Now the numbers are slightly different. They're a little bit higher than a 707 for whatever reason. I'm not sure if there's some other outside influences going on, but let me show you in game. Also, one thing I did want to quickly add, I know there might've been some confusion from what I was showing for the math. And then what I'm showing right here because you saw Meryl's weapon. So uh, to clear it up, you can see in the bottom right hand corner, I had Huma's weapon, Briggs, and then Samir's. So no Frost Resonance. Just wanted to clear that up just in case anybody was confused. Because I just noticed that when I was doing the math, I had Meryl's weapon there. So you might have thought the Frost Resonance was uh, procced and available. But you can see right above my uh, health here, there's no Frost Resonance going on. Did want to quickly mention that. All right, back to the video. All right, so remember each slash, each uh, slash that we do, so we're going to have three slashes, should be around 707, right? So we're going to take a look here. We do an attack. That's just a basic attack. We're going to go in for a multi slash here, and you can see 765, 765, 17, 712, 792, uh, 719. Let's take a look again. 725 729 and the enemy's dead so once the enemy's dead obviously no more slashes right so right around the 707 once again a little higher numbers not sure why but it is what it is let's take a look at another example here all right so here's another example here where we have the multi slashes going on so of course the enemy has a shield so it's going to be reduced around 390 360 and now here we go the shield's gone and you can see there's a crit for 1000 and then 765 713 let's get another one in about 760 754 750 so it's like around the 750 760 range 
766, 766, 769. So you can see the math, in my opinion, is adding up. Once again, it's a tad bit higher. I'm trying to figure out what is having it higher. I'm not entirely too sure, but it's right around what we were getting, 720, 724. So it's, like I mentioned before, it is three slashes for 390 plus the 317. So it is a total of, once again, rounding up 144% in total. And then each slash is getting that additional 317 and you can see 717 744 736 so you can see that the math is adding up pretty spot on to what we were getting when we were doing the math ourselves, right and then that was just a crit right there so for my testing and what i'm getting from this is that when you do the multi slashes it is indeed dealing a total damage equal to 144 percent overall of attack and then each slash you do is getting that additional 317 per each slash. So, and once again, that's baseline frig. That's without the frost resonance. That's of course without um, any advancements or stars or any you know applicable matrices. I've had you know matrices that were just giving a little bit extra attack and one that the skill only procs when you do a discharge. I wanted to make sure that there were nothing else influence, influencing. The math here and the damage so hopefully this clears up the multi slash for you guys hopefully this clears up the type of damage and and the multiplier on it and things of that nature if this video helped uh let me know in the comments down below drop a like sub if you're new all of that good stuff uh once again frig is a great simulacra frig is doing damage frig is fun to use but obviously was rebalanced and i think the reason being is because the cn frig is just op I think it's way too strong, having way too high of multipliers, doing way too much damage. And then you start adding in other Frost Simulacras and Ice Resonances and start adding advancements. And, and then things start to become a little uh, out of balance and, and a little too overtuned for, for one Simulacra and for one typing, right, being the Frost typing. So anyways let me know your thoughts down in the comments below i'm interested to see what you guys have to see and once again if there's something that i miss or a mistake that i made correct me down below i'm more than happy to speak about it with you guys and make sure to mention the correction and, and things of that nature anyways i'm gonna get on out of here remember to stand out be different have fun go further beyond in everything that you do my name is cody but you can call me further i'll see you all in the next one bye guys